Good morning, guys. We are out here. Where are we at? It's a pop-up meet. It's, it's a yeah. It's not like a. It's a uh, <laughs> with Doghouse and Boss Projects over here at uh, Ding Tea. At Ding Tea. So what's funny is, I guess funny not funny is there was another meet down the street from us that we had a couple people come over from, and they said that the cops shut that down. So what started over here is really exclusively a Honda meet because. There were a couple other cars out here, but really just a Honda meet is now starting to like get a little bit of the the extra guys that got kicked out of the other location that still wanted to hang out and everything else, which is cool. As long as they act right here, we won't have any problems. Um, but we're gonna walk through. You guys, let us know what you think. As always, drop those comments and uh, we're, we're let's let's start talking about this I, one. This is the one we saw at uh, at what's the one in Laguna Hills. Uh, that Sunday Steel? Yeah, because this is the one that has the B18 C6. Oh, that's, that's like, right. It's like the little off-white. This was where? Was this the one he, the, he got from Europe? Yeah. This is the yeah. one he got from Europe. I think that's which one this is. Yeah, because it's. I remember the owner. Because like, it's been resprayed. Because it has it has oh, like a little cool. a little flake in it. That's sick. Like a little Type R skateboard, and then like. Uh, like publishing and then like yeah. a key. That's cool. Little that is cool. That is cool. I like how we framed the key and everything. That's cool. So, but yeah, so this one, this one's been resprayed. Like I can kind of see it with my glasses. There's like a blue and red flake in it. It's like a, it's like a weird hue. And it's a, yeah, it's like a frosted white. Yeah. It's like a frosted, like almost like, like a the satin or matte black the hood, or matte or white. Roof, yeah. Sorry. And then you look at here, it's way different. Yeah. I don't think he did. Yeah, huh? it, I don't know if it went. Up I don't that know. High. Yeah, but the hood. Oh, you can see all the flake yeah. in the hood. So let's see what else they. So we got another. That's we got four door. Right? Yeah, four door. The hood scoop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's what front mount. So you got a big front mount. So he yeah. deleted the hood scoop. You got the four door. We we've talked with this owner before. He was at the last meet for Father's Day. Oh, for doghouse. Yeah, doghouse. Yeah. And he tracks and drives the living crap out of and this car. If I recall, he said it was built and turboed. So. Yeah. So he, he says he loves like picking on the big boy cars because yeah. it's fast. Yeah. Lightweight car, he's got it he's got it on a lot of tire. I would like to see if he could pick on this one. What do you think? No. <laughs> yeah. This thing looks scary. I know, like, right? Like you just 35 look, on double. Like, like, imagine you're just chilling at a light and you look to your right and you see those and wheels. And you just see it. And you're like, yeah. oh, no. Nah, okay. Never mind, never mind. Um, nine times out of 10, I'm losing this. Yeah. Uh, so this we got is the cleanest Z here. This is definitely well. It's the only Z here. <laughs> no, oh yeah, That's yeah. No, it's the cleanest Z here. No, honestly, it is. Like this one. Anytime we go to any of the meets, this one always competes for the cleanest. Yeah, he's got the Watanabe's, the Willwoods. The whole thing's been resprayed. Did he have the headlight covers last time, man? I don't know. I don't remember seeing them. But black accents. It's it's super clean. I mean. One thing I love about California is you don't have to run wipers because it almost never rains. I know. And so if it does, it's like on a sunny day. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like on a glip, but that Z is so clean. Oh, yeah. So I had a couple Mustangs come out. They're, they they were, came from the previous meeting. They came from the other one. Look, he's got skinnies up front, slicks in the back, and he's it's ready to party. Carbon, carbon fire, doors. Carbon doors, hood, fenders. Like, oh, look, he's got the carbon uh, seats. Oh, my he's God. He's got the carbon seats in it. Oh, and the back delete. Yep. Yeah, carbon so money back and to carbon yeah. wheel. the whole deal he's got carbon trunk he's I mean, got the door panel deletes he just has the little this guy means business yeah i didn't like see it at first because right like like we were saying guys this thing was just like a little honda meat it was like a little meat, honda meat down the street just like it was it was super like just calm and low-key and you know another a couple a couple dozen guys out here like just chilling um cool we got a nice black s2k coming up let me show you guys that one while he tries to make it over all the speed bumps well the good thing is there's no car so he just hits this like he just comes edge. around yeah he just comes around it nice clean ap2 oh, rival machines nice turn look at that muffler yeah yeah you'll see that up soon yeah we'll definitely uh we'll definitely go over to that car in just a second 
So we got we got the Night Rider 2000 edition, I think, because of the the little fog lights that are under it, um, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. I thought I thought that's which version but, it was. I didn't know. Never seen it. <laughs> Add, add, right, yeah, and I did Streets 2000. Add, add that to the list of movies I've never seen. You've never, nah. you've never seen the shows? Come on. Nah. How did you not watch the shows? I know. I know. Yeah. He, he should have seen the shows. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, that's cool. Yeah, that's a crazy steering wheel. Is that, yeah. Is that where Tesla got that's the where Tesla, from? That's where Tesla got the idea from. <laughs> Tesla wasn't the first one to come up with that. So, NSX. you know what? I'm really feeling those Recaros. Those are nice. That and For like the, a passenger seat or a daily driver driver seat. on the Rega Masters. On the Rega Masters, I know. Super clean EK hatch. I know. I, Lug, again, there's nothing else. So for, so for me, that's it. The car is done. Carbon hood, TEs or some other lightweight wheel spoon calipers and like mirrors. some sort of racing seat i would have done a one and one i would have i would have kept the recaro um like that classic mm -hmm. like type r style seat and then i would have put a, a little bit more of a i'd have probably put like a brit in it or something oh, okay. you know what i mean and, that's usually how they do it like yeah aspect. do a one and one and you know the the one on the driver's side is just a little bit more hardcore so you can run a harness yeah that makes sense yeah the driver one's always more and then the other one's like a little yeah so you, for, but, for whoever you take with are, you those are like rare it's like a, a 30th anniversary edition seat yeah so, so they're the confetti the seats and i think they're called the recaro sr4 uh confettis but yeah that's really cool I, I would are, almost feel bad putting my back against it i would like sit forward a little more you know what you do? You do the old school. Did you guys, back in the day, used to put a t-shirt over it? No. You never did a t-shirt? No. Oh, we used to do that. We used to put a t-shirt oh, yeah, over the seat. Yeah. You slide it over the seat to like keep yeah, the seat clean. Cluster. So he's got the the spoon wheel, works bell, type R cluster. Radio delete, spoon that's, shift knob. That's all it needs, yeah. man. That's... It's crazy because like these are two different things. They have like a lot of similar mods, like maybe spoon wing, spoon lip, spoon hood. In between the yeah. two. Yeah, and then this one's like full. But this like, one's yeah. full. This one's full race. Yeah, look at this. And this one's still street. Yeah. So, doghouses EK. This spoon is their spoon certified. EK. Spoon certified. Yeah, yeah, he pops the hood. He's got the spoon plaque now. This thing is spoon on spoon on spoon. Now, at the last meet, at the doghouse one, I was saying, oh hey look, he doesn't have. He, he doesn't have a cluster in here. I was like, maybe he's doing an aftermarket like an AEM or Haltech or he something that like that. One. But that's what we found out is yeah. he's he's hunting. He's hunting yeah. for the spoon cluster. You know how much they go for now? They're stupid for price. 15 G. <sighs> ah. Oh, that's a car. So <laughs> that's a car. So if anybody if anybody has a spoon cluster, uh, uh, tap in on high I'm hung. <laughs> yeah. Reach out to Hong at Doghouse and be like, hey, man, I got what you're looking for and and see if you guys can make a deal because he is definitely on the hunt for one. All right, so we got two more rows. Uh, we've got a Type R clone. A I'm Type R? <laughs> no, <laughs> don't be mad. like that. We got a US. They're all US Type Rs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got three Type Rs. You got one that is a USM Type R converted front end, but case swap. And I'm just That's gonna, the white one? Yeah. I'm gonna assume that other black one is just a USDM. Yeah, uh, looks so, like it. Bro? Good. Everybody's on. Right, right, right. Everybody's on some TEs. The TE boys. I mean, one of the things I like though is, so we know the two black ones are driven, driven. Yeah. Okay, and you can see, and and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the fact that the lower lip is all chipped up and everything else because if you're driving the car, yeah. it is what it is. See, like, I, have, I like, have no issues like, with that. I feel that. like a lot of people be like, oh, if I'm going to buy a Type R, I want the cleanest. This is what I want, so then I don't feel bad. No, like, so then you can drive yeah. it. And no, yeah. no disrespect to the owner, but it's like, at least I'm not afraid now to drive it on the freeway behind, like, yeah. a dump truck or something. Yeah, it's exactly. Been, it's I already, can pick up yeah. a rock chip. I can take yeah. it out to the canyons. Oh, that's clean. The Evo? Or the, the little Veloster? They're both on ad, Advan. Or like, they like, are. Yeah. yeah, they're on Advans, and then the, those are 57s. Then, yeah. The Ray 57s. They look good. Yeah. The mini's just like uh. The mini's like I just traffic's I, like. I fuck. wanted my coffee. I wanted my coffee. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> She's like, uh, "What's going on? Why are you guys waiting? There's no one in front." <laughs> like, 
All right, so here, you can get this Type R now. Okay, so everybody moved out. So, um, we, we've hung out with the owner. We know yeah. the owner and everything else. Mag Blue wheels. Um, Type they, R. They don't get better than that, man. Yeah. Like, I love the Mag Blue wheels. I like white. The white on white looks good, but the Mag Blue, yeah. the Mag Blue would look good on the white. It looks good on the black. Looks good on the red. Looks, you know what I mean? Yeah. In case you didn't know, it's an OO. Right. <laughs> Like well, the so the second generations, anyways, were the only ones that came in black because the yeah. first generations came in came yeah, in the champ I recall, white. I remember they. Oh, there's the boys. There's the car kid. He came out. Dang, fresh. What's haircut. up, guys? Um. But yeah, so the other ones were white. Of course, the second gens came in red, yeah. black, and yellow. Um, and then of course the second gens all had the like little extra like French in this part Did of the, they, the headlight. Yeah, the first I, gens I, didn't. I, know the, I don't know if the difference is they have the embossed bumper. Like I remember that was a, that was something too. When I'd, I was parting out my Integra, they're like, oh, is it this bumper that has the emboss? And I'm like, yeah. I, I think I, didn't I don't know the think difference. they. I think the first gens. I'll look them up. I think the first gens. You guys comment. Did the first gens only have? just the openings of the rounds or did they actually have that like little yeah. french i thought that was part of the second the second generation when they did the little like facelift you want to see the yeah. white one with the with the type r front end yeah i don't know just the white is so nice dude oh you got your favorite oh no you know stop talking stop talking all right look this this right here i i'll stop everything to, to talk about Dang. a crx every time one comes in because I need one. He got a ZC hood, so those I need who don't one. Know, so that little hump. So he's got the little hump pockets. to clear. Yeah. <laughs> the ZC clears. Is it the valve cover, or the alternator? What it's, was it? It's, it's the valve cover. The, the valve cover the, sits the, the up just a little cam, higher, right? The ZC's a dual cam. Yeah. So we'll we'll catch up with him. Let's get let's stop getting distracted. Yeah. <laughs> you like you <laughs> love CRXs. I do. I do like the CRXs. He's got the little. He's got the like little Euro lip on the back of it. But that um, ZC hood though. I look at the cages, the cages all st stitched in and yeah. Yeah. We'll see, see. Look at that, that, we'll that little hump on the hood costs yeah. extra. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny though, like I always see those memes like when Hondas try to go in reverse, like God, they all, <laughs> You gotta fully stop, come on. Yellow? Yeah, yellow looks good. Yellow looks good. Case. I yeah, know we got a bunch of any other colors, but I don't know. Something about the yellow just looked really good. On I know we got a bunch of new parts. <laughs> oh, I did. I did. I see a story. Did you see, he's yeah. got like new wheels, new seats, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he slowly. Um, it's it's going. You know how that goes. It's never ending. Look at look at that exit out the the front bumper on the driver's side. On the driver's side. Oh, I did miss it. <laughs> yeah, I just so so super low key, right? Super low key. You're like, oh, it's like an EM1 clone. It's not like yeah, a really. He's got GSR blades. <laughs> yeah, he's got the GSR blades going the wrong direction but look <laughs> he's got the i know I was just he's like, got oh, the little bumper exit so if you don't pay attention you just really we'll, we'll see if he pops the hood and we get a look at it um so you got the the just rivals nice little ek yeah hatch and then this one's super clean dude i think is that the sorcery bumper i always get it we, mixed up sorcery voltex yeah. which one like, it, i don't know which one comes out farther i know you think they're all the sorcery ones and then i'm, I'm guessing these are like the because everyone does these not that they're bad, but it's like 17 by nine or 17 by nine and a half plus 45. It's the fit. Yeah, because yeah. they all fit. But most of the time they don't get the larger ones. So they end up with like 235s or 245s and they stagger fit them. Yeah. Um, what's he What's he got in the rear for tires? Uh, Falcon, Zenny's RT660s. 255s? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and see he's got the, it's the stagger fit. He's got the 245s up front. No, he's got 245 back here. Sorry. Oh, does he? Yeah, so okay. square that way. So he squared them, yeah. but at 245s. See, and like, I, I was showing, I forgot who this, I was showing Min, the owner of the Z. They, they always all, have these. Yeah. They all I, have I, this. I, I was like, like man, mine, mine, mine had wreck. this too. Mine had this too. Yeah, like There's, for some reason, it, it's it's either one way or the other. Like it just, they, no, no, no hint I think to this. It's, I think it's just a matter if you bump the bumper on anything. Yeah. It, you don't have to get like rear-ended, but like literally if you tap the bumper, like yeah, that's nice that's how they all end up. Jays, right? Is that a Jays? Jays with the the little dolphin nose or whatever they call it, the little turn down. Yeah, it's clean. He's got a cut rear bumper. He actually cut it pretty clean. He most did a of the time, job. most of the time they're like. They probably hacked. went over it with a Dremel. Yeah. Just to clean up the frayed edges. All right, let's go find our CRX. Come on. We gotta where's do that. The, the, the CRX and uh, the Evo and the Hyundai. Yeah, let's go back up front. Let's uh. So like I was saying, we're doing a. 
we're doing a quick walkthrough. This is this will be this is actually like I, I enjoy these for the morning meets. Just nice and low key. And you hang not, out. It's low key, not rowdy, and it's like a bunch yeah. of cool people where they like pop the hood to talk to you. Yep. And everybody kind of knows everybody, and if you don't know them, then they They'll then they come over and they talk with you and everything else, and you end up talking about their car and a bunch of other cars for the next half an hour, 45 but minutes. The CRX though. The CRX, you can see, look, 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 everybody wanted to know about the CRX. Everybody's over here. Let's see what we got. Stagger. Folk racing. That was cool, Will. Yeah. And then he's got the fives in the, in the front and the fours in the back. Yeah, that's crazy. I never look. know the filler neck was right there. Oh, right here? No, look, and it just like drops. That. It just drops never, straight down. I never owned a no, you should. Oh, thanks. I've had four of these so far, and he's got it all gutted out. He's got so it's, the cage it's all welded in. D or B series because it's got that giant ship. Yeah, message. but there's nothing like he didn't even keep any of the center console. It's just like the the little like. He literally has the bezel. stock with a with an RPM shift light. That's cool. He's got the Coney adjusters. Oh, the, the cage with the gussets right Yeah, all the gussets. Yeah. yeah, so he's got, he's probably running the, the custom Coney's on some like Swift Springs cool. or something like that. Yeah. Get the, the extra bracing yeah, in the back. This is really cool. Like this is. This is you. This is purpose built like the way it should be. Hey, look. Yeah. He's got the, the emergency on off kill. Okay. Just, on that link. Like, yeah, it's just tucked in right there. So like. You take that off and then you don't even have to worry about the key. That's pretty cool. I like how he hangs the steering wheel. Yeah, cool. hangs the moving wheel. That's a that's a drag racer thing. They all they all have them up there. Yeah. I've never been a fan of the tilt steering wheel thing where like it's not a quick release, but it's a tilt in like so 45. The the tilt, like the work spell tilts. What, what's nice about those is if you don't really need a quick disconnect and you just need enough room to like slide in and out, that's all you need. But it also limits you on steering wheel size. If you want, like, you can't go big. Yeah, you, know you can't I mean? go too big, yeah. And it's like, if you're a bigger guy and you're trying to get out of your bucket, your knee could hit it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, no, it's true. And, and it's bucket true. as in reference to seat, not your car. Not the car. <laughs> yes. You're trying to get out the bucket. Yeah. I mean, in, in that, oh, sorry. In that case, it could be the boat. It could be both. Yeah. So we had the little Evo pull up. What do you think? These are, I don't know, they're making like a... The Veloster N ones? Yeah, I mean, there's like an N cup now. They're like, you yeah. know, yeah, they have, they have, they have their own club. series now and everything. The so I mean, it's kind of cool that manufacturers are still trying to attend, like, yeah. get the attention of people who still want to drive fun cars. Like, cause I know most manufacturers don't make money on doing that. Like, you know what I mean? Nah, they usually lose. Like they... when the Evo, when the Evo project was out, like they were losing money yeah but like look at these cars like it's it's an icon it is it is at this point you know like for the u.s market yeah we only got like this eight nine and ten but the real evo is eight nine and it's funny because a lot of people hated on them because they'd most of the time everybody blew them up and so everybody hated yeah. on them you know what i mean and they're what cast iron blocks so they handle a lot but like these things never lost value you always see them still like yeah. up in the 20 case yeah and it's like i think crazy. it was i think it was enough of a limited run and then again, a bunch of them blew up, so there's just not and, as many of them around. And uh, for those who's driven them, you know how the turning radius sucks. It's like a <laughs> twenty-point turn. <laughs> this this entire <laughs> yeah. like like this entire parking yeah. lot that that he, area he over there needs to be like two shots to just make a U-turn. Like yeah, yeah it is. It's yeah. funny. There it goes. No, now you gotta stand there. And hold now you gotta hold it. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna head over to the next one. Uh, you guys, thanks for hanging out to the end. I really appreciate you guys. All the support you guys give me. Um, if you're new to my channel, check out my other videos. If you like them, hit that subscribe. Hit that notification. Uh, I drop videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and this is what I do. So. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. Drop those comments for what cars you liked, uh, what you want to see, all that kind of stuff, and I'll see what I can do for you. All right, I'm going to head out, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks.